This is the DK63, probably the best keyboard, in my opinion, on the market. It's affordable, it's awesome, it's got a fantastic footprint. But I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why you may not want to buy this keyboard. The diarrhea, diarrhea, di, I don't know how you say it. It feels like I'm gonna say diarrhea and I probably shouldn't say diarrhea because that's not its name. But however you pronounce it, they make a decent series of low cost, but good quality mechanical keyboards. Probably my favorite right here is the DK63. I actually like it better than the Annie Pro that I had originally. It's a phenomenal keyboard. This is a 60% keyboard with USB-C and Bluetooth 4 connectivity. The Bluetooth 4 works pretty good. However, the delay, um, especially when connecting to a Linux machine, was a little bit more that I was comfortable with. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be a good uh, Bluetooth keyboard for gaming. I don't know if anyone does that. I'm not hip with the gaming. But for me and my typing, I needed that snappiness that a direct wired connection can give you. And for that, it works great. Having said that, when you are in Bluetooth mode, it's got pretty decent battery life. I went hours with the backlight going and I didn't seem to have a problem. I went through a whole work day once, um, and as well, almost a whole work day. I think towards the end of the day, the delay was getting to me. Let's talk about reasons why you may not want to pick up this keyboard. First off, the um, keyboard has, you know, like a lot of modern mechanical keyboards, it has a microcontroller in there, the little brains of the operation. And this one is a very slow booting system. In fact, I think it's somewhere between 30 seconds to 45 seconds from when you have it plugged in and you turn your machine on till the keyboard is usable. Now, if you have a desktop computer and you're trying to slam that F9 key and to get in the BIOS to repair or modify something, this, not, this keyboard is not gonna work for you. In fact, when I had the desktop before I went back to the being a solely a ThinkPad user, I actually had a membrane Lenovo keyboard that I would pull out just when I need to get into BIOS. Um, not ideal. In fact, it was such a problem, especially that computer was a bit of a problem. It was so much of a problem that I ended up getting another keyboard, which I'll may show off in another video. But now as I am running the docking station with the laptop, it works great for that because if anything does go wrong, if I need to get into BIOS of the ThinkPad, I'll just pull it off the dock and use the built-in keyboard. And that's usually what I'll do anyways. When something's broken, I, I just grab the machine directly anyways. This is a perfect keyboard for anyone doing the laptop dock life. It's great for that. Another thing that kind of irked me was the keycaps it came with. They were, I mean, there was nothing wrong with the keycaps, but they are like a thinner plastic. They had this weird, like soft black coating on them that actually started crumbling in, on my fingers in the first week. It was really gross. Um, and of course the the illuminated key caps, the light didn't really get through there. So I found a key cap set that I really like off Alibaba. I will link it down below. Um, it was about 20 bucks. Excellent backlight and there's a key that matches damn near everything. It's not the exact same one. It's for an 81 key cap set, which you can make an 81 keycap set work with this great. Uh, there's a little, little downside to your secondary shift key is the arrow is facing down instead of up. But yeah, after you get the keycap situation done and you are comfortable with the slow boot times, that's when it comes to the good part of this keyboard. Some of the things that really attracted me to the DK63 was a very affordable pricing. I think it's like $50 and it's almost always $50 on Amazon. This keyboard has one of the smallest footprints for a 60% keyboard that I've ever had my hands on. And it's got a, a nice lightweight plastic um, body that might drive some people nuts having the plastic body. I don't mind it at all. It doesn't slide around on the table. It's got good little rubberized feet, um, but it's small. It's low to the ground. It's almost like a low profile mechanical, but has full size switches and caps. Another thing, of course, that it is beautiful. It's a beautiful keyboard. It looks good. It's got the exposed switches, which I'm a big fan of, and it sounds good, especially once you get better keycaps on there. I got the, the thicker ones and it sounds phenomenal.
When it comes to switches, as of its recording, the Amazon listing, which I'll have below, it comes with the blue switches, which are the one I'm rocking, um, brown switches, and red switches. The keycaps don't feel exactly like real cherries, but they feel pretty good. I haven't used the brown or the red yet, because I only have the blue, but highly recommended. Providing you can put up with replacing the keycaps, though, you know, customize it a bit. I mean, it's a mechanical key keyboard. You can get custom keycaps and it's awesome. And you can make it your own. If you haven't already dived into a mechanical keyboard, I actually would not recommend this one as your first. But if you want a good budget mechanical keyboard, you think it's gonna be reliable, this is the one to get. Uh, providing you can deal with those giant caveats. Caveats? Caviar? Cavalier. But anyways, how are you? I do have a Pine Phone video coming. I have my Pine Phone. I actually purchased this secondhand, but it's taking some time because I have an issue where the micro SD card is not booting and I'm too much of a wuss to flash a different firmware on the main system. That's one of the benefits of the Pine Phone. You can boot from the main, main storage or micro SD card. Um, so I'm gonna look into uh, replacing the main board because I suspect that might be the issue. The video is coming. I don't know how soon, but, but it's coming. Stay tuned. Thank you for sticking around for the whole video. Um, if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe. That kind of helps the algorithm and a lot kind of good stuff. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, or both. If you can do both, you can't do both, but choose one or the other, but you know, just choose one. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.